When you take a look at you know a video, it doesn't really show the scale, it doesn't show the scope, it doesn't show the complexity. But being down there, you know, all the sounds, the smells, the sensation, and then walking around underground, realizing, you know, you're a kilometer and a half, two kilometers underground, it was, it's mind blowing to think about. 2020 marks the 10th anniversary of a remarkable program. Mining education tours offer Ontario educators and Indigenous community members an opportunity to learn about the mining industry in Ontario firsthand touring real mines and the industries that support them, and learning about the vital role we play in our economy, in our local communities, in technology, and in the stewardship of our environment. I think the public needs to know more about modern mining because there's a lot of misconceptions out there and, and what we do in the teacher's tours are, are get the teachers out there to mines to see all the aspects of modern mining. You can't know about mining until you go out and see it and seeing is believing is something what we often say to our teachers because they affect uh, many, many students over the course of their careers. The most common thing I hear is, wow, George, I had no idea that the mining industry was so important to our lives. Educational resources are developed by the talented team at Mining Matters, a charitable organization dedicated to bringing a deeper understanding of Canada's geology and mineral resources to students, educators, and the public. There's four themes, key pillars, that, that the Teachers of Mining Tour is focused on. The first is health and safety, and, and how important health and safety is, is to our industry. The, the second pillar is the environmental management and, and stewardship. The third pillar is that mining is a, is a modern industry and is, is really a, a, a solution provider. And the fourth pillar is that there's a tremendous need in our industry for talent and helping the teachers understand the wide variety of career options for, for their students is, is important and is a fundamental pillar of this program. Essentially, we take the teachers underground to connect them with what they see at the surface and in the mine with what they can teach their students in the classroom and with the curriculum. We provide them with educational resources that inform and inspire students. After all, these are the kids that we know will grow up and benefit from working in 21st century mining. From the very beginning, the program has been a remarkable success, growing and expanding every year. But for everyone involved, it's the reactions of those we have hosted that continue to be the greatest reward. It is you know, an experience that very few people on the planet will ever experience. And that whole experience, going from being on surface to getting in the cage with everybody crammed really closely together, and you're going down, and you're going down, and there's this was a whole other world under there. I think it's a great opportunity for a teacher of any level to go down there and to take pictures. They're going to remember it for the rest of their lives. The success of the mining and education tours has depended heavily on the participation of the partner companies who have helped us host these remarkable experiences. So everything from the financial backing, the site access, the staff resources from the mines and the mining support industries that have participated. You know, it's been invaluable and it's allowed our tours to continue to grow and develop. Collectively, we now offer three scaffolded mining tour experiences. So the Foundations Tour is delivered principally at the Canadian Ecology Centre in Mattawa. It's really directed towards educators that have very little earth science and mining industry knowledge to provide them with a basic understanding of modern mining techniques and the impact that industry has on their daily lives and the things we use every day. I knew that mining had an impact in everyone's life. I just really didn't think about it until I, I took the mining tour. And then I started to realize all the connections, everything in our homes, everything in our cars, everything that I see has a connection to the mining industry. It's processed, it's, it's put together um, from mining. The Mine Life Cycle Tour focuses on either the Sudbury or Timmins mining camp. It tells the story of the complete life cycle of a modern mine ranging from prospecting through to development and operations to eventual completion, reclamation and closure of the mining operation. I thought I knew a fair bit about it, but it was old mining and new mining is different than old mining. And our Life in a Mining Camp tour provides participants with the experience of living in a real mining camp and exposes them to the vast array of careers that are available in the modern mining industry. And there's certainly much more opportunities for automation. 
And when there's automation, we need more engineers, we need software developers. Uh, so there's so much opportunity there. 10 years has accomplished a remarkable amount, but it's only the beginning. Well, the reaction we get is, is one uh, almost universally of, of enthusiasm. It's amazing how much of what we do is actually new to them. They've learned something new. They're eager to take it back to their students. I feel that we're making important inroads into the public perception of the mining industry. To learn more about mining education tours, contact the Canadian Ecology Centre, Mining Matters, or the Ontario Mining Association.